everyone and welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today I'm going to be showing you a very healthy version of Chicken a la King. Now I am self-taught. This is a recipe that we came, I came up with because I didn't want to do the white sauce and the way the traditional um, Chicken a la King is done. So again, this is just my version of a healthy Chicken a la King uh, recipe and Believe it or not, this is a favorite in our house. My kids absolutely love it. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you all the ingredients and I'm going to show you how to make it. What I did here, this dish for me is going to be taking like five minutes to assemble. And the reason is because there is a video on how to make shredded chicken, boil and um, shred chicken, put it in a Ziploc bag, date it. Put the uh, put the ch chicken name on it, and you it's in the freezer. So when I want to cook the night before, I take my chicken out, and the next day it takes me seriously five minutes to get this dish um, cooking. So let's go ahead and review our in um, ingredients here. I've got a good good soy sauce, good brand soy sauce. I've got some olive oil. I've got some spring onions, which are chopped. I've got <clears throat> half the amount of yogurt, same amount of, um, so half and half. So I've got fat free yogurt here and I've got fat free sour cream here. And then we're going to do my pepper and we're going to do salt. So we're going to get started. Here we go. So here we go. Let's get started. My pan is nice and hot. I'm just going to add just about a tablespoon of olive oil. You don't want to add too much because we really don't need so much in there. We're just going to add our spring onions and this is the reason we had we really heated up the pot so once you put the oil in the oil heats up and I use olive oil for this because really you don't really need to put this at a high temperature so this works out really well. I use olive oil in almost all my cooking. Now the other thing also that I did, I wanted to give you a little tip here, is I used frozen spring onions. And that's because I love uh, farmer's markets. So in the winter time, uh, you know, you, I, the spring onions get so expensive. So what I do is I buy a bunch in the summertime, I clean it, I chop it up, and I freeze it. And I don't, I, I, you don't wanna use that for garnishing and stuff, but for recipes like this where you know you're gonna saute it, it's perfect. So then I have spring onions throughout the year which are fresh. So, and the reason I used the frozen ones is because I just wanted to show you guys that in this recipe you don't really need to use the fresh uh, spring onions in that. So we're, we have this on about medium high here. And we're just going to cook it for just a little bit. You don't want to cook it too much. You just want to get the flavors out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of soy sauce. Just a little bit. Because when, when if you look at my video on the chicken, I have it seasoned really, really well. And did you see how when I added the soy sauce in, it started, because it was cooler than the temperature in there, it stopped, the temperature changed. I'm just gonna wait just a little bit until the temperature comes back up again. That's good enough. And then I'm gonna take my shredded chicken and just drop it in there. Mix everything really, really well. We're just going to saute this just a little bit until the onions and the chicken kind of exchange flavors here. Alright, at this stage I'm going to go ahead and add our fat free yogurt and fat free sour cream. And if you don't like it very creamy, you can add a little less of the sour cream and yogurt 
My kids like it really creamy with their rice. Give it a good stir. And at this point, um, if you want to give it a taste test, you can just to see if you want to add either salt or some more soy sauce in there. we get every last bit and we have a boil so that means that it's almost done I think I got some splash on my camera person here all right we're gonna give it a quick taste test it's got the tangy flavor from the yogurt I think I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of salt in there um, you could add sour uh, soy sauce, but my kids don't like it when the when the uh, mixture becomes more like um, brownish. They like the white mixture, so then this is why I used the um, I used the um, salt in there. And now I'm going to show you how we can serve it up. I have some rice here with some chives in there and there is a video that you can watch and the video's name is making rice and kicking it up a notch and there's different different ways that you can kick up your notch kick up the notch on the rice um, so it kind of looks appealing so it doesn't look like blah with just white rice so you can see if you want to get some ideas from that video I'm gonna go ahead and add it on my rice here And then what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take some crushed pepper and some dried chives. And at this point, if you really wanted to add even more color into it, I'm gonna clear this off real quick so we can see here. What you could do is you could just give it a dusting of sumac. grab a spoon so I can give it a taste test. And at this point I've already shut the stove off because you don't want it to boil too much. You just want to have it boil just you'll see like bubbles pop up like three four of them and you're done. It's really creamy and I love the the little bit of the the sumac gives it a little tart tartness to it and um, the chicken is really really good so make sure you try this with your family because this is a really really good way of going healthy you could also substitute the rice for quinoa and I will be make uh, posting some more videos on how to work with quinoa and what quinoa really is. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great